Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us today on a Twinkle Tips Friday. We're returning to a subject we did earlier this week and uh, I'll tell you why here in just a second. Well, we're back to this Tune 2 sign and in the other video that uh, you watched earlier this week, which was a Twinkle Tips Monday accidentally because I had to go to, a, uh, I, I had to, go to Indiana for the Mini. And uh, so I forgot to get the video up in time and I wanted to record one. Now, as I was recording it, I realized what I was gonna show you <laughs> is not exactly complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I fixed it and we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna kind of precursor to this. So I might give a couple hints in that other video what we're gonna do this week. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I, I, we had an issue with the uh, Boscoya Tune 2 Matrix. The, the matrix that you, uh, the, the model that you download, um, wasn't exactly ready for prime time as far as me doing that demo, but I'm gonna show you how I fixed it to make it work in the other video. So really quick, we're gonna go select the model in the layout tab, we're gonna click on the submodel dialog box, and we're gonna go to the Tune 2 line, and this is, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, matrix. We're gonna go to the matrix. And what I learned was is the matrix was not outputting um, was not outputting the uh, correct uh, uh, ma uh, text dialog. So to fix that, here was the fix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the matrix and I'm gonna come down here and it's gonna call matrix, I'm gonna call it matrix fix, right? Okay, and um, what I have to do is I have to make an individual submodel uh, of each one of these lines here. And to do that, I'm going to uh, delete this out and I'm probably gonna fast forward through this because there's gonna be a lot of uh, me clicking and dragging, but I'm just gonna delete this out and I'm going to click on the box again and I'm gonna start clicking dragging here from left to right. Now when it selects these numbers, and here's the problem, when it selects these, whenever you click and drag on these model uh, pixels, uh, what'll happen is it, it takes the numbers and it puts them, stacks them from lowest to highest no matter what the order is. Now the way this matrix is built, it zigzags back and forth. So sometimes this number is the high number and sometimes this number is the low number. And that's just the way it happens. But we're gonna have to fix that and I'll show you that at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and start zigzagging. I'm gonna add another row. Now, I, I wanna stop right here and we're gonna go back and fix these other ones, but I'm, I'm going to make a point in this part of the video. If your matrix zigzags up and down and you're dragging these lines this way, uh, it may not work the correct way. So if, if you get your effects not working the right way, you may physically have to go in and draw your boxes out individually like this. So I'm zooming in and I'm just moving, I'm using the clicky wheel on my mouse and I'm moving this back and forth and I'm zooming in a little bit and I can click these one at a time and I'll do this quickly. And if you make a mistake, like I grabbed this one accidentally and these are out of order, you can you can hold the shift key down, click and drag the corner and it erases it and it leaves the, the one before it as the primary first one. But what happens here is we're putting these in physical location order. So we won't have to worry about this one here. Well, there, that was exciting, right? You know, uh, so what what I need to do now is we know that the bottom one's good because when you use this little little click to drag section across the bottom here, then what happens is is you end up being able to tell the pixel data. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. This is the order in which the data uh, goes down the line. This is the strand. We're building a string, and if your model is set up with a different zigzag. Uh, like these are across, so this is easy. But if your model is built differently or somebody made it very odd, uh, then this is the way that you create your submodel to fix that so that your words go across correctly. Now the first line, what we have to do is we have to get a base number here. The start on the left is 127, so we see 127 on the left, and the very end one here is 162. So it, we could physically type these numbers in. We could also physically type these numbers in too, but it was easier to click and drag. Now the first number here is 198 on this one, right? 198 is the first one and the last one is 163. Now what happens is we need to flip this row. Now the developers added this in, so here's reverse row. And we need to do this for every other row. And so we'll go ahead and click on the, this one's correct, this one's not, we'll reverse it. 
and that fixes our model and what we should be able to do now all right so next what we want to do is we'll try to get some text on here and make it scroll across the screen and i'm going to show you one way that i do this uh, that is probably the most useful because it it will uh, generally fit to the time that you want it to fit to or you can set it at the pace that you like that you want your people to be able to read this at this is just my interpretation you, again you can do this a hundred different ways so don't get wrapped up in, in everything being perfect but getting there and getting it to the point where you can adjust it to where you like it I think that's important so what I'm gonna put up here is uh, let's say your radio station is 89.3 okay and it looks like the text is now working correctly there we have uh, set the X light spawn here to uh, 12 by 12 bold and that looks to lo looks to be pretty good there now I put uh, 89.3 FM whoop, FM and uh, what we want to do now is we want to change this movement. I want to put this on vector. Now, this is the easiest way to get it to fit to the length of the, the, the length, the physical length back here, back and forth, the length of time that you want it to scroll for, if you want it to scroll. If you don't want it to scroll, then maybe what you need to do is make it smaller, uh, use a smaller font. You can come up here and change the font to like this, and maybe it'll fit on there. Uh, thin narrow. There you go, 89.3 FM. That that works for this scenario. Uh, but if you wanted to scroll, this is how we can do it. So uh, was it this one that we used? No, we used this one. Bold, bold. There we go, bold. Uh, let's go to vector. We change the movement to vector, and we'll do the start position. We'll start it on the right because we wanted to start over here, and then we wanted to scroll to the left. So see how it's scrolling to the left? Well, now let's change the end position to off the screen. So now, if we have we play this, we have our FM tune to sign scrolling at a pace that people can either read or or uh, that works best for them. So that's what I have for you as far as fixing fixing your model uh, if it's not working. If you have one of these matrix panels, remember that that's the easiest way to go in and kind of fix it up, guys. And that's what we have for you today, guys. Thank you for joining us for another Twinkle Tips Friday. Tune in next week. We'll have another one. If you have some comments for this, if you have questions or concerns or, or you have an issue with it, go ahead and throw them in the comment section so that I can read them. And perhaps we could do another quick video to show you where you might be having an issue and where we can fix it up with you. Um, we hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big red subscribe button down below, the bell for notifications. We're putting all kinds of crazy content out. So you, you definitely want to know when we put something on YouTube, something crazy could come along and you just don't know it. And finally, if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, why don't you consider joining the PPD Sequence Club? We do one awesome sequence each and every month for you. And you get to choose from two others if you don't care for that one. We've been doing two new songs. Um, yeah, we're working hard over here. And we're trying to do the things that we think that the members would love the best. And not only that, you get awesome deals from our affiliate vendors. So guys, thank you for joining me on this Twinkle Tips Friday. We'll see you next time. Take care and cheers.